So the next place we're going on Will on the Road is the Camaray Cheese Farm. So that Tom is the owner and he um, produces this amazing cheese that's known all around WA as one of the best cheese producers coming out of the Margaret River area. We'll probably be there in about another hour. So that's on the way to us going down to Denmark. So it's gonna be a bit of a journey. Okay, this is where it all happens. Right, so what's the process? So the process is our factory here is on a farm, a small farm, and we milk sheep here as well. So that's what, I guess where it all starts is the grass in the paddock. Yeah. Um, it's what um, we can control every aspect of the, milk, the sheep milk that we get. So we just milk, basically just outside that wall is our dairy. Mm -hmm. uh, the milk is gravity fed straight into our holding tank. And then from our holding vat, we store enough milk to make cheese basically, whether that be Depending on the season, it might be really busy, so it might be one day's worth of milk. And then we make cheese every day, or maybe it might every third day or something right. like that. And then what are we making over here? So over there is the little teat fromages. Can we have a look? Um, yeah, we can go have a look. They're pouring them now. Yeah, these little ones weigh about 40 grams, um, and they're cow's milk. Um, and the cow's milk you buy in? Yes, yeah, so the cow's milk we buy in from the Letchwood family in Bosseton, and they milk a small herd of around about 100 cows mm, right. throughout the year. Okay. Um, and they got mixed Jersey and Frisian in the herd as well, so it's a really good quality milk for cheese making. Fantastic, and this uh, contraption here is, looks quite an antique, is it? Yeah, it is an antique. It's an old uh, wooden cheese press from Holland. Wow, okay. Yeah, so we still use that to this day to, to press the hard cheeses like the gouders and things like that. Okay. Mature room in here. Come in. So, there's not a lot of stuff in this room because it, yeah. a lot of it got wrapped today, but it's only in here for six, seven, eight days. Okay. So it's a quick turnaround. So we've got Brie here from last week, and that's what Eddie's making today. Mm -hmm. Then we got the Petite, which was wrapped today, so that's the sister of the Petite. So with that Petite that we did there, we make three cheeses with that. We make Petite, Ash Over, or Ash Down is the cow's milk variety, and then Mount Folly. And then what do you got here? Uh, that's, that's camembert, yeah, which was made yesterday. So that got salted this morning. So we don't have a salt brine bath. We hand salt every soft cheese here. So it's just like a, either a rubber salt or a shake. Okay, and so that's so, so soft, a soft cheese room. Yeah, so. soft cheese room. Then we go for the white mold. You try and keep together. Yeah, so this is a mature cheese room, which is all the more oh. more hard cheeses. Yeah, so all the mature cheeses are stored in here. Uh, anything from probably four to five months up to five, six years. Wow. Some of the old ones, yeah. You got a chili cheese? Yeah, so in the cow's milk, we make a couple of flavoured ones, the cumin and the chili, basically. Yeah. Um, they sell really well with all the retail stuff. Yeah. Basically, we'll come through. So, all of these guys here, basically, that wall and that one, are from yeah. last year's farmhouse. So we call our mature sheep cheese, this one, it's a farmhouse gold. It's like yeah. our most popular, kind of our signature cheese. And we make probably roughly about 100 wheels a year. That's a pecorino with peppercorns. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, our tradition at the end of the season, at the end of the sheep milk season, is to yeah. make a peppercorn one every year. Okay. So that's just the one last. It that's kind it. of signals the last batch. And we got blue cheese under there. So they'll get, it's starting to grow quite a bit of blue now. Yeah. So then they get spikes soon. So we, we just get spikes in there. And then that allows then, it to penetrate further. Yeah, and then that just basically puts oxygen into the chip, like it lets yeah. oxygen and then it'll grow the blue. If you don't spike it, you won't get any blue in there. Okay. Basically the blue is, the blue mold is in the milk and the cheese, um, but it won't grow unless you've got air to it. So. Can't wait to uh, have a taste. Okay, so what are we starting with? Cool, so we'll start with this one, what we call camembert, which is a, basically a take on a sheep milk. So you can have Thank a try you. of that one. So yeah, naturally sheep milk is a, a little bit sweeter. Mm. And a bit more dense. Milk. Yeah, and uh, denser, so it's got more solids in it. Um, so the yield of sheep milk is higher for what you get. So next one. So the next one is the marinated feta. The feta we here, we age for a minimum of about eight months. So it's got really good flavor. Mm. Yeah, really nice flavor. Um, 
and you don't need a lot of it, you can like use it quite sparingly on your salads. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Popular. Next one here we have uh, first the cow's milk ones, it's just the Cambrai cheddar. Mm, nice and creamy. Yeah. That one's aged for about five or six months at the moment. Okay. This guy here is a St. John's Brook, which is based on the Spanish Manchego cheese. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's a very popular cheese. Well, that's, so that's that natural rhyme one, mm -hmm. the, the small wheels in there. Yeah. Uh, and then this is a farmhouse, which we had a lot of the bigger wheels that were in the room. And that's just the yellow, the yellow rind that we saw. Yes, yeah, the one with the coating. Mm. I've also got there a bit of the farmhouse reserve. You can try to, that's the difference with an extra couple of years. Kind of chalk and cheese. Yeah, that's yeah, so one. that's the same cheese, but one's three mm. years old, one's Salt content. one year Great, old. And then this guy here is the blue, which we make a lot of, the Blackwood Blue cow's yeah. milk. It's easy oh, it's to nice. eat. Easy. Yeah. Smooth and creamy. That's very nice. So this is how we sell them to the restaurants, these ones. They're like, like little, little chevrolets. Basically, I yeah, like a chevre, yeah. yeah. Mm. They're fresh, so that's a week, last week's batch. As you can see, like as a as a portion yeah, size, easy to eat, perfect, yeah. Listen, thank you, Tom. It's been absolutely yeah, no, no fascinating to see the cheese. And I think it's probably got around. some good ideas to actually do some in the restaurant on Wall Street. Thank you. Yeah, nice Absolute pleasure. Lovely to meet you. You too.